Well, not really much to say this week. Out of uh, five days of the week, I've had medical appointments for those days. So not much has gotten done. Um, just did some laundry. Been working on the uh, travel camper, the, the Terry, because my brother might be coming up this weekend or next week. And um, giving him the option of staying in the cabin or staying down on the, the trail or whichever he wants. Um, put up my army hammock that was hanging here in the previous video. And, um, yeah, I really can't think of much else. Uh, it's supposed to be down to 30s or 40s tonight, so I've got lots of wood inside, but I am down to basically bare nothing, mostly just sticks. Um, I do have a couple logs, but they're too big to fit into the Franklin fire stove, so I need some, a chainsaw. Tomorrow, if the w weather is not bad, if it's not too hot and it's not raining, then I'm going to be cutting wood tomorrow. That's the plan. Um, I borrowed a chainsaw to do that. What else can I say? Um, composting toilet is up and running and being used. The sink is not hooked up yet. Um, I'm not getting very much solar light this time of year gray skies um, and it's going to be that way for the next few months so next month I'm probably going to be buying another set of solar panels just to see if I can get any more juice that way if not then I'm going to be going down to the, the camper and uh, charging my battery every once in a while brand new battery so it's um, it's holding a 12.3 on average I'm not happy with that, but I'm happy that it's not really dropping below that. It dropped below that once, but the next day, fortunately, there was sunshine, so it charged up. I really don't know what else to say. I've been hunting, failed on the squirrel, um, but I'm, really, I'm really kind of high, too high up in the mountain for squirrels. And it's raining over there, so I might have to run. Um, Yep, so I'm, if I want to really go squirrel hunting, I need to go down a ways and probably over closer to where humans live, or more humans live. Alright, it's raining, and that's the end of this message. Alright, so um, I know the generator's on, but it's the only way I can get light in here because I haven't set up the DC light in here yet. So, um, just wanting to explain the composting toilet. Not that I really need to explain it, but um, this is a non-electric one. So you have a little handle here that pulls out. And you crank it, it goes around seven times before you get the opening again. And there's a tray. Not really sure how to show you. Anyway, there's a, a tray down here that pulls out, and that's the one you empty. Um, I think you do it once a month. I have to go back and read the manual. But um, in any case, this is the, the composting material. Sunmar is the brand of the composting toilet, so you use their brand. Um, and I started off with a half a bag, and then according to the, to the instructions, um, per person, per day, you scoop in one scoop, whatever the size the scoop is. I have no idea. It doesn't say, says, it just says one scoop. So, um, I know that uh, back in the day when I used a composting toilet before, we had sawdust, and every time you went to the bathroom, you put in a layer of sawdust, like a cup of sawdust over top of your excrement. Um, so this is a slightly better that you only do once a day. All right, so beyond that, um, there is this stuff here. It's called Compost Quick, and you spray it on top of the compost to get it activated. You also use this as the cleaning agent for the part brain top here. And then additionally, I'm using this microbe mix. 
This is optional. This is every two weeks. You can um, add a little scoop of this um, to help break down and add microbes to your compost. So any questions, feel free to put something down in the comments. Um, this is Sunmar XL non-electric composting toilet. Um, it is a little tall, so you know, standing wise, gotta get my toes. Um, and I have the bucket here because that's the only way I can get up and actually sit on there. Um, my legs dangle, and it just feels more comfortable if I have something to put my feet on. All right, so today it's supposed to rain, and um, Kevin has some things to do, so we don't have very much time, and I got medical appointments and stuff like that, so um, we wanted to finish the composting toilet before my brother got here, and just basically so I can start using it. So we had to drill a hole in here for the excess liquid tube which is basically a couple inches away from where we drilled the holes for the DC and the AC. And it goes into a bucket down here. And it's just a clear tube. And this hangs into the bucket. And it's just over an overflow valve. That's basically all it is. Originally, we were going to put it on the other side of the composting toilet, so we weren't worried about the fact that we didn't do it before we put it in the tube. Um, but it interfered with um, the electrical lines and also where the uh, wood is underneath. We should have looked about, we should have looked first, um, but we didn't think about that. So it was a little bit of a hassle trying to drill down into you know, this corner when we already have everything in place. The composting toilet does have a little bit of give to it, but uh, it was still very tight and um, that new wood flooring was very hard to get through. I was really surprised. I thought it would be easy to drill through that, but it was very hard. Um, and then getting through the flooring here was pretty easy after that, but um, yeah, it was just a kind of a little difficult thing that we thought maybe would take a, you know, a couple minutes and it took like a half an hour to do all the things we had to do to get, to get this in. But, and then we, just, then we put putty around the hole that was inside. Um, I didn't put putty underneath. I didn't think it was necessary, but, um, I'll take a couple pictures so you can see what this looks like and maybe if I can get a good picture. Um, and I'll show you the, what it looks like in the back side of the composting toilet.